Welcome back to the Sam Foley News, the news show that lasts about as long as Nate Robertson's boxing career. We're covering all the main stories this week. A YouTuber knocking out an ex-basketball player, two 50-year-old blokes having a tear-up, a government minister talking about dogging, and a policeman shagging in a disabled toilet. So Jake Paul knocked out former NBA superstar Nate Robinson, and just like one of Jake's music videos, it was hard to watch. Jake dished out a beating so severe at one point, Snoop Dogg, who was on commentary, broke into song for reasons that aren't clear. Lead me on. Wow. To be fair, that's the best Snoop sounded in years. So after the final blow was landed, Nate Robinson was face down unconscious on the canvas, which is usually a good indication if I didn't go your way. In his post-fight interview, Jake Paul actually came across as quite nice and humble, which was bizarre. Then he ruined it by calling out Conor McGregor. Steady on, Jake, lad. Knocking out Nate Robinson, then calling out Conor McGregor is the equivalent of winning a game of battleships and then calling out the US Navy. But Nate, if you're watching this, which is highly unlikely, keep your chin up, mate. Not literally, that was that was the problem. We've all lost the odd fight in our time. I got knocked out on the school playground, which cost me my job, and I haven't worked in teaching since. Also on that card, the main event, Mike Tyson made a comeback after 15 years out of the ring to fight the legend Roy Jones Jr. Here's a few highlights from that bout. Despite the fact the fight was unofficially called a draw, 54-year-old Mike Tyson actually looked pretty good. Most people think he won the fight, definitely landed more punches, and Roy Jones Jr. looked like a 51-year-old man. In other news, a policeman from Cornwall is facing jail time after he got caught shagging in the police station disabled toilet. The lucky lady in question was in the station reporting a crime, and one thing led to another, as it does. Excuse me, officer, I'd like to report a crime, please. I've just been mugged. Okay, well, you've lost your purse. How do you fancy losing your dignity? Excuse me? There's a disabled toilet back there. See you in there five minutes? Uh, yeah, go on then. So the policeman's obviously been suspended, and he's apparently facing jail time, which seems a bit harsh to me. I mean, by all means, kick him out of the force. But what's the world coming to when a policeman can't get his end away in a disabled toilet? Unless it was a disabled person waiting outside, then by all means, throw the book in. Now for my favourite story of the week. No deal Brexit could lead to increasing dogging. The motivation of Brexiteers becomes clearer and clearer by the day. And this warning was given by an actual government minister. Which begs the question, why are they talking about dogging in government meetings? Let's be honest, you know Boris brought it up. So the government minister clarified they were worried about two things. Lorry drivers turning up to the ports with the correct paperwork. And also dogging hotspots all over the place in Kent. So the concern seems to be that a no-deal Brexit would lead to massive traffic jams, which would naturally lead to lorry drivers pulling over in laybys and shagging. Feels like a bit of a stretch. Have the government ever met any lorry drivers? Unless there's an up-and-coming band of female lorry drivers that I'm not aware of. I just can't see them ploughing each other in a lay-by. All the other news outlets, when they talk about Brexit, they focus on things like trade negotiations, deal, no deal. Here at STM, we talk about the issues that affect the working man. Dogging. One final thing, I had a good week on Twitch. The Stoke career mode rumbles on, I secured promotion back to the Premier League. Here's a personal highlight from the week. What was that? That is literally the... That is the worst goal I've ever conceded on FIFA. So if you're on Twitch, look me up. Monday to Friday, 9pm. Link in the bio. Thanks for watching again this week, guys. Five weeks in a row now. Appreciate all the positivity and support in the comments. And I'm sorry about all the sexual references and innuendo this week, guys. I don't know what came over me.